Well, the hunt for the Blackstone Fortress continues. In I have this, this is going to be another two articles from Warhammer Community site, number three and four. I think I'm going to do them when they release two of them, then I'm going to do them. Uh, because doing them every single one, I don't want to do that. But anyways, the video is about our our hero, the rogue trader, going around being like, we're being watched, blah blah blah. And look at this. This looks amazing. I really like how alien it looks. I mean, it looks very alien for the 40k universe, which I like. I like them doing kind of new stuff. So, this is a drone, a spindle drone, which is probably going to be from some alien race that maybe doesn't exist anymore, but these are their drones that have lived on, or something along those lines. Could be from the times of the Eldar Empire. Not actual, this is not Eldar technology, but it could be, be from some race that existed back then, you know? Who knows? I mean, I'm not even sure the people who created this know it knows. Well, they probably do. There's probably some kind of lore about these things in the book. But yeah, this actually makes me excite a bit more excited for this. You know, because kind of like, man, it's gonna be a lot of new shit to paint. That that just does I can't explain how I feel, but this is very exciting for 40k. Um so that's it, and then number four, the hostiles, because this was called into the, maybe this was called the fortress, and this is called the hostiles. And the video of this, very good, again. And well, I pause right here to show this guy. When I first saw this, I got ah, oh, this reminds me of the flesh eater quartz uh, from Eight of Sigmar. And these are. Some just b random beastmen fighting each other. Some mutants. And then let's see, there was something else, yeah. These guys, heretics. Looks good. I mean, I would probably remove these things because well, they are, they are probably going to have it on the models. And I probably would remove these, just like I removed the spikes from the Dark Imperium box at Poxwalkers. I mean, the big ones. The smaller ones, sure, they can continue being on, but these ones I probably would probably remove. And, and like I said before, let's see if we can find that. Here we go. Do you see this right here? This looks like a space marine, a chaos space marine. So I think the big bad guy is going to be, like I said, a space marine, um, which is good. You know the fact that it just going. I hope it's just just one chaos space marine model in this set, actual. You know, Adeptus Astartes, um, in this, and that. He will be very hard for our heroes to defeat. To show kind of like. This is how strong a space marine is. You know to make it a bit better. That's what I hope. I hope it's not kind of like in the regular tabletop. I mean I understand why it is like that in the regular tabletop. Because that is. I mean I wouldn't want space marine to be like super super good just have one regular space marine in the tabletop but in a board game setting that's good and here we go here's the miniature one of the thralls of the chaos space marine and we can see him right here so it's probably gonna be someone with a banner another one with two glow sticks I mean, I am expecting, you know, one guy with a flamethrower, one guy with a pistol and all that, like we saw, I think here, nope, 
here. So we're gonna get some good traitorous Cadian pattern guys, I think. But yeah, I think this miniature looks okay. That's all I'm saying, it looks okay. Uh, I think the skin, no, I mean this is this is good skin for flesh eater quartz, but uh, even my flesh eater quartz I wouldn't paint them like that. But yeah, I think the skin is letting him down. But on that, hey, he looks okay. I mean, I wouldn't say it looks great, but it looks okay, acceptable. And then they're telling us that it's a Mega Vault Cultist, and these guys, you can often see them in Adeptus Mechanicus controlled worlds. You know, before they fucking turn traitor and all that. So there we go. That was that. <laughs> From these, these two articles.